In this video we want to look at how we can find an unknown angle or a missing angle in a right angle triangle using trigonometry. So we're going to jump to these two examples and see how we go about setting these questions out. Okay, your first step is to label your triangle. So relative to the x, this 4 is the opposite side and then this 7 is opposite to the, the biggest angle, the right angle, so it is labeled the hypotenuse. Your next thing is to write down your Sokotoa. And then you have to decide which one of our three trig ratios, sine, cosine, or tangent, we're going to use. So in our triangle, we have O and H, and sine is the first thing that has got a first trig ratio when it has got O and H, so it involves O and H. So we will be using sine in this question. So you write down the trig ratio, which is sine theta is equal to O over H. And then what you do is you fill in what you know. So sine of X is equal to the opposite, which is 4 over the hypotenuse, which is 7. And then what we can do is when what we have to do is find our X. So if you have a look on your calculator, when you, where you find your sign button, which you must have been using for the last uh, type of questions here, when you find your sign button, you can see it, just above the sign button, its second function is sine to the minus 1. This means inverse sine. So I will tell you in a second how we do this. So when that sign goes across, it becomes sine to the minus 1. And how you do that, how you get your sine to the minus 1 is on your calculator, you hit the shift button. And then you hit your sign button. So shift and sign should get you sine to the minus one. So when I hit shift and sign, it comes up sine to the minus one with the bracket. Then I'll do my four over three, close my bracket, press equals. So sine to the minus one of four over three, sorry, four over seven, and then press equals. And what I get and what you should also get is your x is equal to 34. 0.85 and that's going to be degrees because it's going to be an angle and that's to two decimal places. Same idea in this next question. We first we, thing we have to do is to label our triangle. So relative to the y, the 7 is the adjacent. Relative to the y on, and also it's opposite the right angle. So this is going to be my hypotenuse. So I've got A and H. Again, write down Sokotoa. And then we have to decide which one we're going to use. So we've got A and H. Sine involves O and H. Cos involves A and H. So it is going to be just our cos. Uh, sorry, there we are. So cos is the one we're going to use. So we can just write down cos of the angle theta is equal to A over H. And then we want to fill that in. So we've got cos of our angle y in this case is equal to my a, which is 7, divided by my h, which is 11.5. And then we can say our y is equal to the opposite of cos is cos to the minus 1. That's cos to the minus 1 of 7 divided by 11.5. You do that in one go in your calculator. So I'm just going to do that now. Cos to the minus 1 of 7 over 11.5, close my bracket, press equals, and to two decimal places, actually I'm going to write this out the long way just to show you, uh, so it's, it was, oh, sorry, it wasn't that at all, it was 50, 52, sorry, 52.50475, just to show you, um, this, if we're going to two decimal places, this is my first decimal place, this is my second decimal place, so this is my check figure. So because it's only a 4, I don't round up, so it's 52.50, and that's going to be meters, but you need the 0 because I've gone to two decimal places. And that is my answer, 52.50 meters to two decimal places. Okay, so very quickly run through what we've done. We label a triangle. And then you write down your Sokotoa, and then you use the correct trig ratio, so sine, cos, or tan. And then you fill it, fill it in, so in this one it was cos of y is equal to 7 over 11.5.
And then to get rid of the cost or to um, inverse the cost, we do cost the minus one. So y on its own is equal to cost the minus one of seven over 11.5. And that gets you there to the answer. And also the sine of the minus ones, cost the minus one or tan of the minus one to get sine of the minus one, you do shift and sine. To do cost of the minus one, you do shift and cost. To do tan of the minus one, you do shift and tan.